when you're solving a Kramer's rule for a three variable system the first thing that you want to do is you want to set up all of your matrices that you're going to have now since we have an x y and a z variable that we're solving for in this problem we are going to have four matrices we are going to have first the coefficient matrix which remember we will call d and that coefficient matrix we'll have all the numbers that are in front of our variables. So we'll have 4, 5, negative 6, 3, negative 2, 7, 7, negative 6, and negative 8. And that's our coefficient matrix. We will also have a D sub X matrix and that is going to equal remember the x values right here in this matrix are replaced with these values right here with what the equation equals the y and the z values stay exactly the same so we're now going to have instead of 4, 3, 7 in our first column we're now going to have a negative 14 47 and 15 and then we'll still have our 5 negative 2 negative 6 and our negative 6 7 negative 8 and then we need to write a D sub Y matrix and what happens is the X values return so we're gonna have 4 3 and 7 but in this case our y values right here get replaced with what the equation equals so they're now going to be a negative 14 a 47 and 15 and then we're gonna have a negative 6 7 and negative 8 and the last matrix that we need to come up with is our D sub z matrix and that is all of our z values in our coefficient matrix are replaced with what the equation equals which are those values negative 14 47 and 15 so what happens is we get 4 3 7 as our first column just like it was in the coefficient matrix 5 negative 2 negative 6 in the second column just like the coefficient matrix and then what we're going to have is we're going to have a negative 14 47 and 15 and that is going to be all of the different matrices that we're going to have to start with with Kramer's rule now how we get our actual values x in this problem is going to equal the determinant of our d sub x matrix divided by the determinant of our coefficient matrix. Y is going to equal the determinant of our D sub Y matrix divided by the determinant of our D matrix, coefficient matrix. And Z is going to equal the determinant of our D sub Z matrix divided by the determinant of our coefficient matrix. So if you take and find the determinant of the X matrix it is going to equal 3,105. The determinant of the coefficient matrix is going to equal 621. The determinant of the Y matrix, the D sub Y matrix, is a negative 1,242. And then we've got the determinant of the coefficient matrix stays the same at 621. So we can write that down for all of the different uh, Kramer's rule that we have. And then the determinant of the Z matrix is 2,484. So if I simplify these, I get that X equals 5. I get right here that Y equals a negative 2. And over here, I get that my Z value equals 4. So my final answer is 5, negative 2, and that is the solution to this equation if you solve it by Kramer's rule.